Okay, Greg, our focus question is quite simple. Why do you wait such a long time between extraction and soundproof? Um, it wasn't deliberate. Basically, uh, I recorded the album, uh, well, we released the album Extraction in 2003. Then in 2004, I was pretty busy doing a lot of clinics, and um, I think that's also the year that I went and did uh, the tour in Japan with uh, Tetsuo Sakari and uh, Dennis Chambers. And then in 2005, I actually moved from the East Coast to the West Coast. Um, so that was a pretty big thing because I had to be around during the selling of the house and uh, you know, take care of all the responsibilities that go with that. And then we had, actually had to you know, figure out where we were going to live in Los Angeles. So 2005 was really a year spent relocating from the East Coast to the West Coast. 2006, um, again, I, I spent a lot of time doing clinics and uh, just getting situated in L.A. 2007, we recorded the album, which came out in 2008. So uh, it didn't seem like a long time to me, but I, I guess to the outside it seemed like a long time. And can you tell us more about the creation of this album and the writing, the choice of musicians, everything? Yes, um, I was determined on this record to make sure that the whole procedure was fun and relaxed and not, not like what the previous record had been, which was very stressful. Uh, Extraction came out nice, but it was a very, very stressful record. And uh, I spent a lot of time overthinking songs and mixing and remixing, and we actually ended up re-recording the Extraction CD. So I was determined that Soundproof was going to be a fun, relaxed experience. So I didn't overthink a lot of the songs. And I also decided to put a band together so that I could rehearse with the band and bounce ideas back and forth with the band and uh, just have it be a lot more more fun. And uh, and that's exactly what it was. So it, it, I, didn't spend, I didn't overthink a lot of songs, went with my first instinct, and uh, it was, it was uh, that was pretty much the creative process. It was very, very relaxed, very fun. We did the whole, we tracked the whole thing in four days, and uh, that was it. Okay. And let's talk about the songs of this album, the new album. This album sounds more jazzy than the other. Do you think it's a natural evolution? Maybe instinct? Maybe, yeah. maybe does yeah. your instinct go to jazz? Or? Perhaps. Um, you know, I don't study jazz. I never really learned a lot of standards. I never did the whole real book thing. Um, but I listen to a lot of guys who are from that world, and I listen to a lot of that music. So I think indirectly and subconsciously, just some of it rubs off on me. I don't. I never set out to write a jazz song or to write a fusion song or to write a rock song. I, I never set out to, to do anything stylistically. To, I never try to fit into a category. I just write whatever music comes into my head, and then it just comes out what it comes out like. So if it sounds more jazzy, um, it wasn't on purpose. It just sort of happened like that, you know. Okay. And um, is there any style? Any other style you'd like to explore on one of your next albums? Is it something you think about? I don't know. Uh, I don't think about, again, I really don't think about it in styles. When, when, I, when I'm writing, I really, most of my writing takes place when I'm nowhere near a guitar, nowhere near a studio, nowhere near an instrument. It's usually when I'm driving or walking down the street or, you know, just uh, doing something completely unrelated to music. And I just try to go with whatever comes to me. So I don't really have, I never have a goal in mind in terms of a style that I want to try to, try to capture. But uh, I suppose anything is possible. So. Okay, let's talk about your, uh, your tour in Europe. You, you played two gigs in France. Why, why do you wait such a long time before coming in Europe and especially in France? Well, I, I love it here. So I mean, we, we have I have wanted to come here many times. It's really just been a, a a question of getting the right booking agencies and getting the right people that can help organize it for us. So um, even now, I wish we were doing more gigs in France. Um, hopefully, next time uh, we come back and we can spend a lot more time here. It's not. It wasn't a choice on our part. It was more of a, of a uh, you know just administrative thing. So I think we just. Having better connections, having having the right contacts, and knowing who to talk to about about it will, will enable us to play more next time. Plus, you know, hopefully the fans will want us to come back. So. <laughs>
And uh, what about the, um, the future plans for um, related to this tour? Do you plan on filming some shows, make a DVD or something? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Um, you know, for me personally, I would like to spend a lot of time with this band and really, I mean, we, this is this is cool. This tour is really a good opportunity for us to really start to gel. But to me, it feels like we're just starting to gel. So, you know, if we're going to do a DVD, I really want it to be cool because I don't have anything out there right now that I feel that great about. So I don't, you know, the, the Tetsuo thing, I almost wish had not been released because I wasn't that pleased with, with, uh, with it and I wasn't really even aware of the fact that he had planned to do a DVD. We only had one rehearsal for that tour, so, you know, I would like it to be really, really cool. And I'd like to spend a lot of time with the band so that we really are locking together and things are becoming instinctual. And that's when great performances happen. So, at some point, we definitely will do that. Uh, so, for many people, uh, instrumental guitar albums are not fashionable anymore. Um, but you keep on doing what you want. Uh, do you feel like one of the last dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, I... Again, this is a very strange topic for me because um, I, I try to go with the flow of things. So, I mean, I, 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 am not, I, I have not made up my mind to be a guitar instrumentalist. It's more like this is where things keep seeming to end up. So. Um, I've had many plans in the works for having a vocalist. Um, I've done a lot of things where I've worked with artists in more of a mainstream manner. And I'm open to anything. So um, basically, this is what seems to be where I keep being led to. Um, and I'm very grateful that there are fans out there that are willing to, to watch it. And I think that I, I was lucky, very lucky to have gotten in at a point where the guitar was during its heyday. So I still have a lot of fans left over from that time, because there's a lot of great up-and-coming guitar players now who won't have the same kind of opportunities because it's not, you know, they don't have that built-in fan base. So um, I don't, uh, I'm not trying to prove anything by playing guitar or surround music. It's, it's, it's more like a, I know that I have fans out there that really would like to see me live, so I really want to give this for them, you know, so. Um, but I don't know what the future holds. Never know. So you're not worried about the future of instrumental guitar? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs>